Man, what the hell? I just got these things too, man. What? Man. Don't do this, man. Yep. Just don't do this. Like to treat my feet, finest leather and rubber. Another one like me, I promise you there's no other. Keep the swoosh and the stripes, alligator and ostrich. Shoot, game on point, so every day I got options. Fresh thoughts from my feet, then I work my way up. Welcome back, YouTube, to another episode of Sneaker Adventures. If you're new to the channel, I am the one man click. You're watching Sneaker Adventures. Now, let's get into the video. Now, in this video, we're going to be talking about shoe trees not just a regular shoe trees ikea sneaker shoe trees and if you don't know what shoe trees are man shoe trees are are something you put in your in your in your sneakers and your shoes so it'll help them keep their form a little bit better and help them not to crease as much if you don't use them very often like if you use them every once in a while and you, these are perfect to keep in there so it'll help them keep its form you know what i mean so they don't shrivel up or anything like that or you know break down or whatever but um in this particular video, we're talking about IKEA shoe trees, and this is what they look like. And I mean, they come in both gray and white. You know what I mean? We both got a left and a right. You know what I mean? And if you guys don't know what IKEA is, it's a store that mainly contains furniture and house decor and stuff like that. But they do have, you know, a lot of miscellaneous items such as, you know, shoe trees. And there's not one here in the valley, so. If you're trying to look for them in the valley, you won't find them. Uh, I think the closest one is in Houston. You know what I mean? So that's where you're gonna have to find them if you want to get them. But after this video, you, you you'll decide. You decide. You know. Now these now these shoe trees, like you know what I mean? They they come with a left and a right. You know what I mean? These shoe trees they nor they run about a dollar, ninety nine cents, which is not it's not very expensive at all. It's inexpensive at all, and you can see why you get them because they're you know they're cheap. You know what I mean? And being so, like I said, you can't find them down here. And the way I got them was through a sneaker sh sneaker group called RGV Soul. Shout out to RGV Soul, but uh, I'll explain more on that. That may be another video, we'll see. But anyways, they posted in the group, somebody came down from Houston and he bought a whole bunch of these. And he was doubling them, which two bucks ain't bad. So I went ahead and bought, I think I bought about $30, $40 worth, I think. And, cause I have a lot of shoes and these, you know, go would go good with it. Now, as you can see, they got a spring in them. You know what I mean? So you slide it in your shoe, put this in the back of the heel, and you know what I mean? It, keep its, it keeps its form. You know, matter of fact, let me grab a pair of shoes so I can show you how they work. Okay, so I'm gonna use this New Balance as an example. So we're gonna use the left, okay? So real simple, put it in, bend it up, and there you go. You know what I mean? It's in there. And they're cool, man, because you can grab them like this. They don't, you know, slip out. Just grab them when you grab both your pairs of shoes and boom. You know what I mean? So it helps to keep its form and all that. Now, they're cool if you're going to have them sit for a while. But, I, you know, my honest opinion, I wouldn't recommend them because they break very, very easily. Look at that. As you can see, the little plastic piece broke off. Here's the other end of it. So, like I said, they're... They're, you know, cheaper plastic. They work if you're not gonna really use them a lot. So if you're just gonna have them sit there, if you're real careful about them, yeah. But if you're like me, that I'm always constantly pulling shoes out, I wouldn't recommend them. Cause look, they break. But you get what you pay for. It's not inexpensive. But they just break real easily. I've gone through a whole bunch of them. I just like, for me, if I'm gonna get them, I'm gonna get them, you know, the, the good ones, which there's a whole bunch of different uh, varieties of them available out there in the market, so. You know what I mean? You pick and choose. But if you're gonna get the IKEA ones, you can. It's a cheaper way of holding them if you can't afford them. You know what I mean? They're, they're, it's a good alternative, and they will do the job as long as you're careful with them, man. Because like I said, I broke, I've broken a lot of these, and I only have a very few amount of them left. You know what I'm saying? So are IKEA shoe, are IKEA sneaker trees worth it? You know what I mean? If you're gonna be careful and you don't have a lot of them and you know what I mean, you can't really afford them, these are good. But personally for me, I probably won't buy them again because like I said, I've gone through a lot of them, I've broken a lot of them and it's just a waste of money for me. You know what I mean? All depends on you. If you take care of them a little bit better than I did, then you know what I mean, go for it. But for me, I wouldn't get these again because like I said, I go through them, I go through them like, you know, like pancakes, you know what I mean?
there. You be the judge. And you can get these at Ikea, but if you want to go ahead and try to find them on Amazon, I'll leave the link in the description so you can check them out. Now, before we continue any further, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, and share it. Drop me a comment. Let me know if you've ever used Ikea shoe trees and what you think about them. You let me know what you think about them. Are they worth it? Are they not? Leave it down in the comment. As for me, they're not worth it. But... Anyways, that's that's all for today's episode, man. This has been well, the One Man Click. You're watching Sneaker Adventures. And this has been the review for IKEA Sneaker Trees. Shoe Trees. This has been the review for IKEA Sneaker Shoe Trees. Until next time, man. Sneaker Adventures. Stay humble. Stay blessed, man.